Welcome back to the Rich Eisen Show. The binge a that took place on Sunday, all 10 episodes of the first season of Angie Tribeca aired back to back and commercial free on TBS. And it's going to be seen <sighs> in its regular time slot Mondays at 9 Eastern time starting yeah. on January 25th. And the man who plays Chet Atkins in this uh, this police comedy <laughs> named Andy Tribeca. Jerry Burns is here in studio. Good to see you, Jerry. Thanks, Rich. You How too. are you? I'm That's, great. This is I'm a great. fun I'm show. Great. This is a fun show. It's a lot of fun. That has its roots in all of these cop dramas. Yep. Like Hill Street, right? Mm -hmm. And also the... The procedurals. The procedurals. All the, proce all the CSIs is, and the SVUs. But there's like the dragnets too, like some of the old school type yeah, stuff just, that you're making fun of. We're just basically parodying police procedurals. Right. Through the ages. And, and in that respect though, because I said this uh, for the television uh, audience and I'll repeat it for the radio, there's a little bit of police squad in it. There's yeah. a little bit of Frank Drebin yep. type. Right comedy right. in it as well yeah which is that was one of my favorite well yeah tv shows of all yeah. time and this, it, and this is a lot of funny stuff that's a lot of show. silly sight gaggy verbal right. crazy stuff i mean it's so stupid <laughs> it goes to smart you yes. know enough stupid somehow becomes smart yeah i'm not sure how that happens but well i guess if you're dumb enough and you dumb it up and but it's also and anything that yeah, there's a, there's a smartness to the whole thing underneath it. There's though. a real smartness. Right. Uh, Steve and Nancy created it, and they're just great captains. We have an amazing team of, of, of writers, and and the response has been incredible. Yeah. I mean, the last thing we expected was, uh, was, 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 was critical success, and the critics have just loved it. That's fantastic. And America's loved it. It seems like we've just sort of tapped into something that, maybe the country needs right now. Which is just a laugh. Know, a oh. lot of laughs, like real serious laughs. Right. Yeah. I've, and Rashida Jones plays Incredible. Angie Tribeca. Amazing, Hayes this. MacArthur. Right. Dion Cole, Andre Vermeulen. And I was t talking uh, before, uh, you know, your work in Justified is Win Duffy. There was, some, there was some comedy in that, too, as well, the way you portrayed him. I mean, it was very serious. It was but, dark, but yeah. But there was, there was a... Some of, oh, the yeah. some of the lines that you threw oh, out yeah. there were, were, were fantastic in that And show even too. when, I mean, I don't know how many times some guy either got his, his some guy's head exploded next to me or <laughs> some guy's body exploded in front of me. Yes. And I would just, we sort of started having the classic uh, post-body explosion shot of me <laughs> or me and Walton just with a deadpan Jack Penny, yeah. with Benny with blood mm -hmm. all over our faces, yeah. just like another one. There's a hell of a show. It really was a hell of a yeah, show. So congrats you. on, on, on you. all your success. Thank you. So where, where does your uh, affinity for New England sports teams come from? Is that where you're from? In that yeah. Area? Okay. yeah, I'm from Boston. You're from Boston. Cambridge, okay. Belmont, all right. yeah, the suburbs. So where's the accent? Did you never have one of them, or, or is it de buried deep inside? Can you, I mean, can you... I can I can pull it up and I and I and I <laughs> Careful now, yeah. wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, because it's not really just an accent; it's like a total attitude. Yeah. You know, it's like you yeah. know, are you kidding me? Yeah, Tommy Brady. What are you stupid? That's right. What are you a moron? That's right. It's like chip on the shoulder, angry kind of. What are you? That's what I'm saying. Come on. I know, that's what I Come was saying on. before. It's an agree, you're an aggrieved party. Yeah you're, an, yeah, you're an aggrieved party. It's, yeah. Exactly. And uh, it's like everybody has Irish Alzheimer's. They forget everything but the grudges. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of angry. That's a great line. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. So the, the Brady-Belichick run has been something for, for the ages, and it looks yeah. like they're, they're going to be able to, you know, Make it to the Super Bowl again? It's entirely possible. What do you be, think? Of, it would be fun. I'd what like you, to see them. I'd like to see, Bo, you know, Boston, Carolina. What about you? Well, you know, it would be interesting in that respect too, because it would be just like the Super Bowl that I first covered for the NFL Network. But that was Brady against Jake Delhomme. This would be Tom Brady against Cam Newton. Would be a totally different ball of wax. Yeah. Would be great on yeah. that stage. Yeah. You know, and and Brady, what he's become in New England, he he could run for mayor of that town. Yeah. When you think about it too. Yeah. You think? Uh, you think? Carolina can beat Arizona? I do. You do? I do think that, okay. yeah. Just I do too, I hope. Because they've been because they've been the best team in the NFC all year long. But yeah. Arizona may, you know, may be able to get them. So are you are, are you a hockey guy? Because you have to be from Boston, right? Yeah, it's I was a much. Bruins guy. I mean, like, well, I, when I was a kid, it was sort of like every, me and every kid I knew had a picture of Bobby Orr on their wall. Mm -hmm. You know, the famous picture after he scored the goal of yeah. him 
parallel to the ice. Yeah, exactly. Him yeah. flying in the air. Yeah. Did you ever play lace him up? I yourself? played hockey. Yeah. No kidding. Yeah, my dad was a hockey player, and you know I was pushing chairs around ponds when I was a a little kid. And right. I played in yeah all you know pee wees and then middle school and then a bit of high school. Did you ever do any of those celebrity events? Those I celebrity did. I events? played in um, one uh, one game, and then it was just like it was such a drunken weekend. I couldn't. I couldn't. <laughs> We would fly to, like you would fly to Chicago, yes. for instance, on a Friday night, and then uh, you would play before a Blackhawks game or whatever town you were in, you would play the old timers an hour before the game. So I played against like Chico Mackey and Bobby Hull. Okay. Uh, Rocket Richard was on my team. R Eddie Shack was on my team. I mean, this is going way back. But you've played Maurice Rocket Richard. Yeah. Were you on the same line as him? Were you on the same line? I him? was on the same line. He sat next to me in the dressing room. Wow. Yeah, Keith Magnuson. Do you? Re I mean, you probably. I don't know. No, you, these, do you remember I, these guys? I, I do remember these guys. Yeah. Sure. But um, I mean, what do you talk about with Maurice Rocket Richard when you're getting into your sweaters? I don't know. To get out with, to lace them up. Your sweaters yeah. to lace up the blades. Yeah, bud. I don't, I don't know. Mean. It was just you know. It, <laughs> you don't even know what to I say. I don't even know what I. I don't even. Know, but I do remember because mm -hmm. I was probably in my late twenties. Right. In my late twenties, playing against those guys in their late sixties, they could still skate, skate it's circles around. Well, Gordy Howe, right? Didn't he play till he was ninety years old? Pretty yeah. much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And we would have, so we would be a bunch of actors who had played hockey, but then we sure. had guys like some guys from the from the Dream Team, like Jimmy Craig was our goalie. I think Michael Ruzioni played. We had some alternates from the Dream Team. It was just That's... Kelsey Grammer. I remember was our 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 coach. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Now hold on a second. Kelsey Grammer, Kelsey was, Grammer your coach? was our coach, but it was all for it was all a goof. Sure. And then you would get drunk. I think Friday night, Saturday night. Right. Go home crippled on Sunday, <laughs> and then try to show up Monday for work. And it so was Kelsey just... Grammer set in the lines. He he was the one that said no, okay. no, no. He all just right. came in. His job was to just come in and make a hilarious speech. Okay. Between periods. Okay. I love it. I'm here with Jerry Burns here of Angie Tribeca on on TBS. Uh, here on the Rich Eisen show, and now so you do the marathons and try. That's that's what you do I right now. I used to much. do marathons and triathlons, and now I sort of stick to surfing okay. and skiing. Okay. I don't have to prove anything anymore with the endurance sports. Skiing, you know? I, I have an issue with stopping. That's my problem. Skiing. That's key. Don't you think? Stopping and turning. Turning is something you know the, the you know making your the the pizza with your with your skis you know I, I yeah. sound like a total idiot oh, right now I understand no you I'm, don't I'm, I'm more of an uh, Jerry I'm more of an apres skier gotcha I'm you a like, world class apres you like the apres do you? you well just the way you described yeah, your hockey apri. weekend yeah that's me with by this the game. way watching you yes. watch in the hockey segment the mm -hmm. hockey fight segment watching you yes. watch the ref Cole Cock the player. <laughs> <laughs> that was a genuine reaction. And then the reaction. trainer, Cole Cock, he comes out and where, he, he, he nails the ref. Yeah, this is an where assumption. is that from? I got to pull that uh, up. Let me I... find out because we show this in our TV only oh, segment. Here oh it was. Uh, it was in a, a greater. It was in Ontario. Looked like a scrimmage. There was nobody in the stands. Yeah. There. Yeah. Hilarious. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, for sure. What was it like being on Breaking Bad, Jerry? What was that like for you? Um. They what? sent me the pages. They mm -hmm. sent me the script. I was like, wow. This is in my wheelhouse. This is amazing. I'd never seen the show. I think I did the third, second, the end of the, the I think I did the second and third season. Mm -hmm. No one had really watched the show because everybody sort of caught up on the show the way we all watch television yeah, now on, on Netflix. Demand. Yeah, so, yeah. And, and um, so I didn't know what I was getting into and I went and I did it and it was really fun. And then I did the third season and then a few, uh, a few months later, Ed Begley called me and said, hey, by the way, have you seen the show that you were on, Breaking Bad? I said, no, nah, I've never seen it. I, it was fun. I had a good time. Yeah. He said, it is really good. <laughs> you should watch it. So then, like everybody else, I started getting, you know, I started catching up. And, you know, if you remember, nobody really knew who the show, what the show was till. And then poof, it just came to it be. It changed the face of television well, that in a lot of ways. That and Justified are two of my favorite TV shows. And, and, and congratulations on, on Angie thanks, Tribeca Rich. and everything thanks. that's going on. Thank you. So thank you very much. Stay right there for the radio, TV audience. We're going to have, Jerry's known for just uh, some of the looks that you gave as Win, Win Duffy. Oh, uh, on Justified. Yes. We'll have you on. Okay. We're just reacting to some of the moments here right. on the show, like Terrell Owens taking off his uh, 
his zipped uh, hoodie sweatshirt. I put it on. He hey has now. nothing on underneath. Nice. And I'm just giving you a little preview. Okay, wow. Right, that's Jerry Burns. Thank you for coming on. Thanks, Rich. Angie Tribeca, check it out, beginning January 25th, and it's 9 p.m. Monday's time slot. If you didn't binge view it already over the weekend, back with more in a moment. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On Audience.